Hi, I'm Dennis Phillips, and welcome to Everyday Reloading and Shooting. So I went back and looked at some of my previous loads at some of the heavier charge weights on this 6.5 Creedmoor and at 41 and a half grains I found groups of 0 0.53, 0 0.58 and 0.84 which averages to 0.65 and out of these higher charge weights it gave me the better grouping. So I'm going to be reloading some 140 grain Hornady ELD match bullets and I'm going to be comparing two different powders I'm comparing Hodgson's H4350 with Hodgson's hybrid V100 or 100V whichever and so I'm loading these for the for the H4350 I've tested this load before and I know it's safe in my rifle. It's their max load of 41 and a half grains. For the same velocity, 2700 feet per second, the hybrid H100V takes 40 and a half grains. So I've got 25 of each loaded at 40 and a half grains of hybrid 100V and Hodgson's H4350. We will shoot uh, five five shot groups of each and see how they compare. These are based on the same velocity too, 2700 feet per second at each charge weight. The charge weights are different. The hybrid H100V is a slower burning powder and it takes a lighter charge to achieve that same velocity. So we'll see how they do. Get the last of these seated. And we'll be ready to bag them up for the range. Okay, to recap, I'm testing two different powders, Hodgson's H4350 and also their hybrid 100V. On the Hodgson's H4350, we have 41 and a half grains of powder loaded for that, and it produces a velocity of 2,700 feet per second. We went with the same velocity on the V100. It's a slower burning powder. So it only takes 40 and a half grains to achieve 2,700 feet per second. So we're going to shoot five five-shot groups at each charge, and then we're going to compare. We'll average those and see which one, which of those two powders performs better. You're welcome to enjoy the music while I fast forward through my shooting, or you can fast forward to the results at the end of my shooting. Thanks again for watching. Let's get it on. 100 yards. Incidentally, these are all Alpha Munitions twice fired brass with CCI 450 primers. And we're using the Hornady 140 grain ELD match bullet.
All right, let's bring them in, see how we did. All right, so there we go. That was my first coal barrel shot. And then that was the next four. Shooting kind of high. So I adjusted the scope down one click. Brought it down a bit. These grouped together very well. Those three, a couple of flyers there. A couple of flyers there. Definitely a flyer there. Grouping pretty tight here, but shooting to the right. <clears throat> Not too bad. And I noticed that on the last two groups, it was shooting high. And also slightly to the right. I don't know if that's a hot barrel or a dirty barrel causing that. But we will take these home, measure them, average them, and compare. But right now I'm going to have to say it looks like I think the H4350 may have the edge. We've got some good groups here, here. Not too bad here. Here we had a flyer. Here we had a big flyer. That's going to throw that one off. So we'll also want to look at the best 4 out of 5 on these as well. That flyer can be caused by any number of things. I might have flinched on that shot. Could have been an extra granule of powder powder inside the case. Who knows? But we'll take them home, measure them, analyze them, and take a look at the results. So here are the results that I promised. In the first column, we have the targets that I shot shooting the hybrid 100V powder at 40 and a half grains. In the second column are the targets that I shot using the H4350 at 41 and a half grains. Both of these were at 2700 feet per second according to the Hornady manual. The first target, I typically have a coal barrel shot that shoots high and to the left this one shot pretty much on center, but it was high, and it caused the overall spread, extreme spread, to be 1.32 inches. The last four grouped at 0.64. On target number two, I had a 0.99 extreme spread, and a best four out of five at 0.65. Because of how these were shooting a little bit high, this dot in the center is my aiming point. So I adjusted the sights down one click for the rest of the rounds. So I'll go ahead and go through the hybrid 100V. The next target with the hybrid 100V shot an extreme spread of 0.86 inches with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.64. The next target shot a 1.79 group, and I had this flyer right here that threw that off with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.71. The fourth group that I shot was at 0.76 with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.38 inches. And so we have a flyer here that threw that group off. But the rest of those group pretty well. And then the last target that I shot with the hybrid was 0.75 extreme spread with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.58. Overall, those averaged 1.1 inches with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.59. Then going back to the H4350, we saw this already at 0.99 with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.65. The next group, I had a couple of flyers here and here, which made that extreme spread 1 and a quarter with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.82. Then I shot a group with an extreme spread of 0.64 
and the best 4 out of 5 at 0.45. Then I shot a group at 0.74 with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.48. So looking a little more consistent. And then the last group was 1.08 with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.84. And this column averaged 0.94 inches with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.64. So which one is better? Well, the H4350 had a tighter group at 0.94 inches compared to 1.1. But on the best 4 out of 5, the hybrid shot a 0.59, whereas the 4350 shot a 0.64. So only about 5 hundredths of an inch difference there. So really not much of a difference at all. Now, if you were to take out the first and the last group, the first group being the coal barrel shot, the last group being the dirty barrel shot, and just average out the three center groups. Then you come up minus the first and the last with 1.14 on the hybrid and 0.88 on the 4350 and a 0.58 best four out of five on the hybrid and 0.58 identical on the 4350. If you just take out the coal barrel shot only, you come up with an average of 1.04 for the hybrid, and the best 4 out of 5 at 0.58, and a 0.93 group for the 4350 with the best 4 out of 5 at 0.65. So the 0 0.58, 0 0.58, 0 0.59 for the best 4 out of 5 here seems to be pretty consistent. And with the 4350, we've got uh, 0 0.65, 0 0.58, and 0 0.64. So for the best 4 out of 5, the hybrid powder did group a little bit better. But on the extreme spread, the 4350 grouped a little bit better. So I think the results here are a bit inconclusive. Now for one thing, I was shooting the 140 grain ELD match bullet, which has not been my best performing round. So I'm going to redo this same test using um, the Sierra Match King 140 grain bullets because those have performed very well for me. So I'm going to shoot those and then compare this once again and see how those do. So those are my results. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you have a comment or a question, please feel free to leave that below. I do try to respond to all of those. I'm not such a large channel yet that I can't respond to everybody. So I try to engage everyone who leaves a comment. Thanks again. Please like and share and don't forget to subscribe.